So this is a broad technology overview of how I use Linux in Zen Family Dental. So the best way to describe everything is to go more chronologically in a patient's point of view. So the patient first gets involved with us through the website. So this is the website here, nothing too fancy. It's mostly a static page using regular HTML and bootstrap. And then when they become a new patient, it actually creates a dynamic form using PHP. So whether they say, yes, I'm in pain, it asks different questions appropriately. But if you were to say, instead, I'm not in any pain, I'll ask a different set of questions. After the patient is scheduled in, they would come in and they would actually hit this first door, which actually is locked by default, but you can open it from the inside and let the patient in. Afterwards, they would be screened using this device here. So this is only used by staff. So this is only used by staff. And so in order to log in, you actually have to swipe in. And then you are logged in to do the COVID screening. And so there are three types of screening. Patient for dentistry, so they're an actual patient. Patient that's just visiting. So this could be a spouse or a friend or a staff members. So for this particular example, we are going to see Mr. Setzer Gabani. We'll have his actual name, birthday, and a profile picture. And then we ask the appropriate questions. Take the body temperature using this guy right here. And then you save and close. And that's it for the screening. In the reception area, there is a TV playing relaxing videos. It's actually using a Raspberry Pi that's connected directly. You can see it right here. It's a little difficult to see, but it's at the back of the TV. So that way it can play continuously, even if the internet goes out and there are never any ads. So when the patient's in the schedule, they'll show up like this with their profile picture, their name, and their status. You click on them, you have their status information. So in this case, I would say that they are actually here. Save and continue, it would appropriately update right here. Let's see, and then you can do other things like, is there any changes to your personal information, including home address or their phone number. You can also use this to update their profile picture. So yes, you could import a PNG file or JPEG, or you can actually take a photo using the webcam. You just tell them to look at the webcam, smile, and that's about it. And then when they're ready to go, we send them on to the operatory. So in the bathroom, there is music that's being played at the corner there, also running a Raspberry Pi, so that way it will drown out any kind of noise in the bathroom. Here is the console room. It's a nice and small room, primarily to talk to patients about their treatment plan or for filling out the new patient form, which is entirely online. Some of the older patients simply do not want to use their cell phone or use a computer to fill out the new patient form. So this is the other option. So when the patient comes in for their comp exam, I normally put them in the hygiene room, primarily because most of the time for their first exam, they will want a cleaning, and this is appropriately set up for a cleaning. 
So, there are three monitors. The touchscreen monitor, the wall monitor, and the ceiling monitor. All three of them are connected to the same computer, which is in here. In this room, it's running an AMD APU, so the graphical power is rather limited, but good enough for here. So, there are three icons, one for selecting the patient, one for the schedule, and the other one for media controls. Now, this is a resistive monitor. That means anything, including a air water syringe tip, will work as a stylus, like so. So let's actually scroll down a little bit. For the profi. Now you'll notice that for this patient, their profile picture doesn't show up. That's because we're in HIPAA mode because it's technically public. <coughs> so from the schedule, you can launch things like the comprehensive exam module in which you will have an array of different other modules to go through for your comprehensive exam. Now, technically, they are all optional since every doctor is different, but I like to do a very thorough comprehensive exam. So the first one being the new patient interview. So it will go over the optional questions for patients who are not in pain. So they could say, okay, I have all of these problems. And that can be reviewed. There is a vitals. There is a vitals module in which you can take the patient's vitals. Medical review, so you can go over the medical history, including conditions. You can add a condition. If you forget to add in a condition, you can always type it in. Save it and close and then it appropriately updates there. You can take the radiographs and this works a little bit different in that you pick the kinds of radiographs that the patient needs and then you take them rather than the other way around. There's also quick buttons for take FMX and take bite wings. So this is the interface here, and then you can see there's a wire connecting from the monitor to the actual radiograph sensor. So this is actually connecting to the computer directly. So therefore, when I say take bite wings, it first of all notices what kind of type of sensor I have. Okay, what kind of sensor that I have, and then will tell me what kind of bite wing is expecting. Now. I say take image, and thankfully I have a Nomad to demo this off. I'm using this just for demonstration purposes, but... So obviously this would actually show the teeth, but the nice feature is that it also shows it on the patient TV. This is because patients like to see their x-rays. They're always curious and they really want to ask a lot of questions about the x-rays. And so showing it up on the patient monitor actually initiates really interesting conversations. It even shows it on the ceiling TV as well. And so you can accept it or reject it using this button and then move on to the next bite wing. Now, because this is all here, you're not running out and pushing a button and going back in. Everything is done right here. So you can actually go like boom, move, boom, move over, boom, boom, really fast. Now these are things that many doctors may want to skip, but where is a extra oral exam in which you can go through, say if there's any problems that you notice, any penile palpation, um, any TMJ issues, and so on. 
There is also an intraoral exam in which you'll go through, see if you see any lesions. And then you chart the missing teeth. So you could say, okay, they're just missing their third molars. And so it highlights the teeth that are missing. And then after that, you do your periodontal charting. Now, there is a voice to text system, but I found it to be rather unreliable. So I am still using by default this kind of interface. So the big buttons are the periodontal pockets that go all the way to 15. But you can do like two, three, two. And then for recession, you could do three, three, three. Um, for bleeding, you can just push the buttons if there's anything, and then you do next tooth. So it keeps on going to the next tooth on the next side until you are all done. And I actually put a nice little feature here and saying like, okay, I know all the teeth between two and 31 are within normal limits. So you set those to be normal limits in which you'll show a little smiley face and then you can just say and close. So this is in situations where you go through every pocket and you didn't find anything beyond three millimeters. So rather than having to say, okay, it's two, three, two, you can just say it's all within normal limits. There's also a hard tissue charting module. So you can either go tooth by tooth or you can select a tooth. So Tooth by tooth means it'll start at tooth one, go all the way to tooth number 32. And you go one by one, charting what's on each tooth. If this is a younger patient, you would just say, I want to select that one tooth that has that one issue, and that is it. So for example, I would say tooth number 10 has an existing MI composite, and that's it. And then it would show a check mark next to 10 saying that, yes, you already charted that. And then you finish. If the patient needs any kind of partial, you would use this module for that. But I didn't really chart anything outside of the third molars for missing teeth. So doing like bridges, partial dentures doesn't really make too much sense here. And then we can review the treatment plan. You can add different phases and you can just move them as needed. So normally you want your profit to be in the first phase, the composite to be after that. Um, we're doing the comprehensive exam right now. We're doing four bite wings and watches are also normally um, unfazed. So you can see them close. So everything is like this, um, the primary treatment plan means the one that the patient selected. You can have secondary tertiary treatment plans in case you want a plan B and C, just in case the patient changes their mind and instead of doing that implant, they want to do a partial denture. And then you would just complete your exam. It would automatically generate based on everything here on what, um, you actually wrote down for your treatment plan, everything else that you would had your findings and it generates that case note. Mm -hmm. So you can complete that procedure and then you can do your profi. So when you do your profi, it goes over the medical history. Remember that diabetes from earlier? The medications, I put that in for testing. Um, you can retake the vitals, review the medical history again. Um, this is in wonderful situations where you have your hygienist going straight to profi and then you can have ready for doctor things. So you can actually put down like ready for the exam so the doctor can walk right in or you can even have waiting for the doctor, which is a polite way of saying we're waiting for you, doctor. Your patient's ready to go. We're just waiting for you. You just have to tap on the radiographs and it'll not only show up here, but just like when you're taking the radiographs, but it'll show up on the wall and the ceiling. And also you can just put in what you actually did and it'll generate the case note based on that. But you can also do launch the media, multimedia app. So with the multimedia app, you can play music, play a video, or even just play a game. So let's say for videos, 
I want to do some like cartoon videos if it's like a kid. So then. Could just go back if they didn't want to watch something else like a Disney thing. It would show this. So it can all be controlled here. Um, the nice thing about that is you just give the patient a choice and it's already a set select so you know what kind of videos are going to be coming out. You can always close that and go back and finish up your profi. It will generate the actual case notes. You can sign and finalize later um, in which you'll use uh, GPG for uh, digital signing your case notes, but we'll talk about that later. So you can complete that and that's about it.